This video is brought to you by Owls. Hey guys, welcome back to another Doom Constructs, a review show where I review stuff. Yeah, today's video we are talking about the Mega Constructs Halo Desert Sniper Cyclops, released in 2017 with 160 pieces, including one Desert UNSE Marine. Taking a look at the Desert UNSE Marine in the Halo 4, Halo 5 style, I'll get the elephant out of the room. I despise the silver on the chest. It feels so out of place, and I wish it matched the stunning champagne gold color scheme of the other armor pieces. I mean it, this color is beautiful, but I'm just so distracted by the silver on the chest on the vest. Even the box disowns it! Other colors include gray and black for the undersuit, as well he's got a light skin tone color for his face and a gold visor on the head. He also comes with an additional pocket on the side of his leg. God only knows what kind of horrible things he keeps in there! Same modern articulation as the main UNSC characters, and the figure comes with a black base and a solid black assault rifle second generation mold. However, the silver chest! The rest of it could use a little bit more paint, but points for the crisp molding on the helmet. The Desert Sniper Cyclops, or Snyclops, if you will, retains a majority of the construction of the previous two Cyclops, with the same framework and most of the armor pieces. Some aesthetic changes, a newly built weapon, and new color scheme are introduced. The tan color for the toy doesn't match the champagne gold of the marine, but I love the earthy tone to it. And it makes more sense given the terrain, you know, it's coarse and rough and irritating and it gets all in my nooks and crannies. The American Sniper or Bradley Cooper weapon is a custom build, and I wasn't sure how I'd feel about it right away. I can safely say I dig it. Could use a little bit more detail, but it's simple and it gets the job done. I even like how there's the built-in clip inside the bricks that attaches to the belt. Let's talk about one key issue in the new style of Cyclops. As a model, it looks good and you can get it into some fantastic poses. Though I wish there was more articulation in the legs. I'm more concerned on the joints and some of the new armor. I understand why the joints have to connect, it is a buildable figure. But some of the joints are so tight that a simple rotation may pop them out of place. I wish they'd take another look at this, as it ruins the playability of the toy. That and some of the new armor doesn't seem to attach too well and slides off pretty easily once you move the joints. Also, snipers don't usually want to be in the spotlight, but this sniper is a giant mech, so I don't know how that's going to work. I love the joints of the original Cyclops, but I think I prefer the new build. You get a little more out of it. The size, the amount of joints, the parts count, and the fingers! My... God, the fingers are beautiful, with little holes on them so you can plug on the assault rifle. No man should have this kind of power! While the original Cyclops covered the Marine completely in armor, there's more gaps in the new style, but I kind of like that. It really shows that someone is actually piloting the set and gives a little bit more life to the Cyclops. I never thought I got my value over the original style, just too small, too little parts for the price, it was cool to look at and play with. I think as a toy, it worked better. But I just love the style, the parts count, and the articulation of the new. If only the joints didn't constantly pop off. Now I have learned something. The shoulder joint seems to be the tightest, to the point where it couldn't even move. Then suddenly, I decided to move the joint halfway out of the socket, and that seemed to have loosened the joint. Not a fantastic fix, but it seems to work better than it originally did. I love the details and the newly molded pieces, but I can't help but to see an angry squid face on the body, mouth, eyes, and even some wicked eyebrows. <laughs> Back detail? What? Stand by for Titanfall, you can open the top canopy and the chest to place the figure inside. He doesn't peg in, but seems to fit in just fine. Oh, and did I mention the fingers? Wait, those are tampos. Oh, that... That, that is a boss. Sadly, you still can't put Wraith in. If you can stand the joints and need a third Cyclops, or you haven't gotten one yourself, I'd say it's worth a look. It's got major issues that stop it from being a good, playful toy, but as a display piece, it's fantastic. But I feel bad for those people who are doing stop motion animations that have to constantly work around the joints that pop off. Though, I think I'm drooling over the fingers more than anything. May I point out, Fingers and toes. Hmm. Octopus face. Octopus face. 